I'm Jordan from Horny Ramen and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a chicken python and we're going to do it the way I always make it for my customers. We're going to whip up a batch of about 36 servings so it's going to be lots of quantities but I'm going to break it down for you. I'll leave you a list of how to do just one serving if you want to do that at home and let's go for a ride. First thing we're going to do is fill up our pots with water and then we'll move on to the rest of the ingredients. So we've got two big pots of water, one's got 10 liters, one's got 7.5 liters and I just don't have a big enough kitchen to do all of it in one shot. So we're going to take the ingredients, divide them up so that both of them can boil at the same time. We'll take bricks readings throughout the cook so that we have the measure of density that we need to get the proper flavor of the soup. So the longest part is to get the water boiling, so we're going to start that right away. We'll put everything on max. Now we'll get our chicken out of the fridge. Oh my god, it's a lot of chicken. So for this size batch of chicken python, we're gonna use six kilos of chicken bones and three kilos of chicken feet. So we'll start by putting a strainer in our sink because nothing you're ever gonna eat should touch the bottom of your sink. And we'll bring the pot over to the sink. It's easier than carrying drippy chicken parts across your kitchen, so. Put the big one in the big pot. And the smaller chicken in the smaller pot. Hot. Oh, it's hot. Put these back on the burner. And now we'll cut into the feet. Urgh. I'll do the same process again. Half the feet in the big pot. Get rid of these plastic bags and wash our hands and wash the kitchen because we just finished working with our, our raw chicken. So the chicken's gonna sit in the pot for about eight hours. In the process, we're gonna skim the fat that develops at the top of the soup. We're gonna add the vegetables and we're also gonna collect the oil off the top of the soup so that we have that for our oil component later on when we assemble the bowls. The next thing we're gonna do is prepare the veggies that are gonna go in the pots. And this is way easier than you expect. We're not gonna peel and make everything nice. We're just gonna coarse chop everything and set it aside for after skimming the fat. So, we're gonna start with the ginger, garlic, and onions. When we prepare the vegetables, I'm gonna use two different size bowls so that I know which ones are going in which pot. And I keep one extra empty bowl for all the little bits of trash that collect along the way so I don't have to keep going in the garbage. But like I said before, we're just gonna coarse chop everything up. No need to peel, no need to skin. There we go. The onion's just gonna be quartered and go in like that. I'm just gonna take the earthy knobby bit off the bottom. And we'll do the other pot. Same thing, chop up the ginger, split up the garlic. All right, we can set those aside for after we skim the fat. Woo, monsieur. And now the rest of the cook is monitoring the pots. So we're gonna skim the fat, we're gonna collect the oil, and take our measurements. Okay, so it's been about 20 minutes, and we can see that there's the fat growing on the surface of the big pot. So we're gonna collect that and take it off. This will be discarded, we're not gonna use this for anything. This is just um, surface fat from the chicken. Once the pot gets to a, an angry boil, then we'll see a lot more foam that we're gonna skim off. There you go, you see all the fat coming to the surface now. That's what we want to get rid of. And you might have to wash your strainer from time to time because the fat tends to clog the holes. Okay, there's the foam. So we finished skimming the soup scum on the big pot, 
And now we're just collecting the oil for our chiyu later on. And now we can add the vegetables to the big pot. We'll just mix the veggies in and they're gonna soften up and flavor the soup as it cooks. It's been about an hour. Well, I haven't said it before today, but I have in other episodes. But ramen is composed of four necessary ingredients. That's the noodles, the broth, the oil, and the tare. The tare is where all the salt comes from. So there will be no salt going into these pots because this is just the broth. I finished skimming the scum off of the smaller pot. It took a little bit longer to boil. And uh, now we're gonna collect the oil and add the veggies. Skin and all. And we're just gonna stir these and collect the oil off the top for the next, uh, next seven hours or so. So we've been cooking the soup, it's now almost seven o'clock. Uh, the bricks level, we checked the density, is six on both of these. So that means it's time to strain out and collect all the good final soup product. Okay, so we're gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna transfer all the soup from the big pot into the small pot. So we swing those up as close as we can together. Put the soup strainer in it. Before we transfer it, we're gonna crush up the bones and make sure that all the good gelatin is out of everything. Now we're gonna transfer the soup from the big pot into the small pot and then do the same thing with the medium pot and add it all together. Now we're gonna mush all the leftover soup juice out of the mash that's in the strainer. And once it's dry, we'll just discard it. And we'll get rid of that. Now, so you don't have to watch me do that the entire time. I will make a little cup of broth. Once it's filtered, you're left with a cloudy cup of chicken python. Now I'm gonna take these, put them in mason jars, store them in the fridge, and get ready to serve them to you on Friday. Let's recap today's episode. We made a medium-sized batch of chicken python soup broth. When describing ramen broths, there are two main families, a chintan and a python. A chintan refers to a clear broth like a consomme or a bouillon. A python refers to a white broth like a cloudy tonkotsu. You can make a python by cooking the broth at high temperatures, which causes the fat and broth to recombine into a uniform soup. The fat in the broth makes it cloudy. If you want to make your own chicken python, here are the ingredients necessary for one serving. 550 milliliters of water, 180 grams of chicken bones, 80 grams of chicken feet or 3 feet, 35 grams of garlic or 3 cloves, 4 grams of ginger, and 25 grams of yellow onion. So that's what it takes to make 36 servings of chicken python ramen. I hope you've enjoyed watching this lesson. And uh, if you want to try it, don't be shy. Give me a shout. We can work it out together. See you next time.